Hey, uh, Rob at My Wire Shop. Just getting back on the super project that we got going on. Last time you saw it, we had a mountain of wires on top of the engine bay. Um, kind of trying to simplify everything a little bit. Just show you guys what we're doing. Um, we took the a box out of a GS 400 and we're putting the ECU and everything right here. Um, we ended up doing some riv nuts on the bottom, made that secure, put that down on there. It kind of conforms to the uh, shock tower on the Supra. Um, next thing we did is we relocated, we had to relocate the battery and then relocate this fuse box, trying to make it as clean as a factory as possible, relocating some ground, stuff like that, which some relays, some other things right here um, that we're going to... We ended up taking the brackets off and we're we're going to situate these the way they are this is a pretty simple setup this customer actually had the ecu the key the everything that came on the gs engine so we don't have to send this out and have the immobilizer reprogram it or he's keeping an automatic transmission that came in it all we got to do is make program everything and make it work so Big thing is running the immobilizer correctly so that um, uh, you can use the same key that came with the ECU that's matched for the ECU and everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run all the power wires and everything. All the power and everything comes from the harness inside. It's going to run through here and through here and everything's going to work. Supply power. to, And also we took this out, which is all the powers and everything just makes it clear cleaner we got the other side of the connectors so we can connect the gauges and stuff like that up um, we made a couple fuse boxes now we can we make these to any size we want this this is actually flexible it's rubber um, little little tiny relay box we got this basically what this is is this is the immobilizer uh, transmitter and the key so basically what you do is you take the ring terminal put the key inside of it so it, the ECU recognizes the uh, signal for the key and it uh, sends a code a binary code matches to the ECU and then a start up I am going to put this this is totally sealed um, after I secure the top. I'm gonna to put it down here so that you can't see it. Um, and then I'll probably mount these relays on top of that. So what I'm gonna do is run the wires down through here, make a grommet for here, connect into here with a Deutsch plug so you'll be able to remove this. This has a plug here and also grommet there. So when you're looking at it, you won't even be able to tell that that stuff's in there and then i'll mount the fuse box on top of that and run a little wiring harness in the inside of the supra and it should work and everything should be fine but um just a super clean setup this has the lid to it which when it's done it'll look like that with the relays and everything in there Stuff down in there have to reattach the grounds and relocate the battery to the back of the car but um, should be pretty simple um, next step is, is starting it up so and also I got to run an OBD2 port because this is an OBD2 engine um, so customer wants to use like Bluetooth gauges, stuff like that, he can do that. So, but uh, yeah, that's it.